Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint um, kind of like everybody's little dream afternoon. It's going to have a candle, some books, a cup of tea. So I actually put every color on my canvas because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, and dark blue, purple, brown, black, and white. So I have every color on my canvas because I'm not 100% sure where I'm going with this yet. I have my favorite brushes, my one inch flat brush, as well as my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy. And since I am painting a tea picture, I actually made myself a chai tea latte so that I have some, uh, you know, in inspiration right here next to me. So let us get started. I'm gonna start with my number one round brush. And I'm gonna start kind of like where the candlelight is gonna be. So I'm gonna have my candle right here with my books over here and then my teacup over here. So I'm gonna start where my candle's gonna be and I'm gonna make a nice white circle just off to the center of my canvas. Um, that's gonna be where my light is shining the brightest. And from there, I'm just gonna kind of bring some light blues in and we're gonna pull it out to some dark blue. So the background of my picture is gonna be a dark blue color and it's going to just kind of come in towards that light blue where that candle is lit. Now, once I have all my colors on here, clearly it's not gonna stay like this, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and start blending in my medium blue to my dark blue and kind of bringing those colors out and I'll finish with that white circle again. So I started with the white circle, I'm gonna finish with that white circle, but I'm just gonna kind of blend these colors by running my brush along those edges, really kind of filling in any space that I see a brush stroke or I see white canvas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brush off and wipe it off so that I've got a clean brush for when I go back into the center with my white paint. So now I've got a clean brush and I'm gonna start back here at the center again and I'm just gonna kind of pull these colors out. I'm gonna wipe that brush off and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do this a couple times so that I get a nice light blue in the center and that blue gradually gets darker. I don't want it to just instantly get darker I think one more time and I should have it about right. Now the hardest thing is making a nice circle. So sometimes what I like to do is take my brush, just kind of spin it in that circle. Um, another thing I really like too is just take my finger. I think my finger makes a better circle. Kind of pull those colors out with my finger. And I notice that my circle just looks a little bit neater. So it's up to you however you wanna make your circle work. All right, so now we are going to um, paint our table and then we're gonna let this dry. Now you can have your table be any color you want. I do want mine to kind of be like in a study, maybe in like a cabin in the woods kind of thing. So I'm gonna take some brown paint on my one inch flat brush. I'm just gonna paint a line right across the bottom here. Perfect. We're gonna let this dry and we come back, we are gonna add in all of our details. So sometimes I have an idea of when I'm gonna paint before I start. This time, this is a request from a friend and I am winging it. So I'm gonna kinda lay out where I want things to go and just know that I might have to change it. So I'm gonna go in with my number six round brush and some white paint just to lay things out. And I know that I want to have a couple of books, a candle, and a teapot. That was the request. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a book laying down flat right here. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle, okay? And then I'm gonna have a book that will be just kind of leaning up against the sidewall here. 
Maybe I won't even see the whole book. So I'm gonna make another rectangle that just kind of goes along that edge there. I'm gonna have another one that leans up against that, but it's gonna be leaning at a little bit more of an angle. Okay, so I've got my books. Um, I'm actually gonna shorten this book. This is why I said I don't really know what I'm doing, because I do want my candle flame to go there. So then I'm going to put a candle right here, right next to this book, super safe, right? I know. Um, so I'm gonna make a rectangle, but this rectangle is gonna kind of come up to the side there because that's where the book or the candle's burning. I'm gonna make it look like it's just in front of these books. So I'm gonna kind of bring it down onto that brown table and I'll just give it like a little rounded bottom. So then that will be my candle. And then for my teapot, I'm gonna put my teapot over here. So I'm gonna make um, an oval oblong top to my teacup. And then as I bring this down, I'm going to just gently kind of bring in the base of it. Just like that, okay. So now that I have some of my ideas laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these spaces in with white. I do like to start everything with a nice white background. Um, probably won't do that with the books because I'll make those guys just a little bit darker anyway. But my teacup and my candle, we'll start with a nice white background. So far, I like where this is going. <laughs> I just started to. All right, let's go ahead and fill these books in. Um, I think I will go ahead and shorten this one book up a little bit. I don't want it to look like my book is gonna catch on fire. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of blue paint, just kind of separate those a little bit so that, it, again, I don't really want my books to catch on fire. Okay, um, so then you can kind of decide what kind of books you want. You know, you can choose books that you already know that you love. You can make up your own books. That's really your choice. I'm going to make one of my books a light brown color. I'll probably make one of them that's standing up light brown. One of them is going to be a light green color. The other one may be red. So I'm going to start with my one inch flat brush and I'm going to bring some green paint on here. Now this green looks really dark where it is. So I'm actually going to grab some white and put it in there too. Oh yeah, that's a much better green. Now, while that paint's still wet, I'm gonna drop some white paint right down the center of it. I want the book to look as though there's um, a raised edge to it. And so by just adding that little bit of white paint to that center, I get that little bit of variation of color. Bring my brush back this way. Perfect. All right, let's wash that brush off. My next one I'm going to make, look, I might be changing my color ideas. I know I just told you one color, but I change things often. I'm gonna do some brown paint right here. Again, I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. Mix that white up. And bring those colors on down. forgot to add my little bit of white to the center of my brown book. So I'm gonna wash my brush off and go back and do that. So a little bit of white paint right down the center. Kind of rub that in. It's 
Same thing with my red. All right, we're gonna let those books dry a little bit while we move on to our candle. So you can make your candle be any color you want. I'm just gonna have mine be a super light white color. So I'm gonna go over it one more time with white paint and then I'm gonna add a small amount of brown just to edges of it to darken it up a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm talking almost no brown on my brush, but a couple little spaces. I'm just gonna add some brown in here. So I put one on the left side, one on the right side and then a little bit down at the bottom and I'm just gonna brush those in, kind of move them towards the center. So it almost looks like there might be a small shadow going on. Then I'm gonna take some of that white paint and I'm going to kind of like bump it down along this edge. This is where my candle wax is melting off of the candle. So I've got a little bit of brown on my brush. I'm just kind of going in and making a couple little bumps. even onto my table down here. A little bit of extra white on there just to kind of highlight some of those areas. Wipe that brush off. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my black paint and I'm going to make a small little wick. Moving over to my coffee cup, I'm gonna to decide what color I want my coffee cup to be. I think I'm gonna make my coffee cup a light purple color. So I'm gonna have white and purple on my brush. I'm just gonna kind of mix those right there in the center. Taking some of that dark paint on the edges and just kind of bringing it in. That'll help it look like there's some form to the shape of my cup. bit of white right here to the top center of my cup. Wash that brush off. I'm going to add a little bit of brown to the inside of my cup. That way, you know, it could be tea, it could be coffee, it could be hot cocoa, so many choices. All right, we're going to let this dry and we come back, we're going to add in some more details. All right, let's get on to the rest of the details. So first thing I'm gonna do is add my flame to my candle and I'm gonna make that be a smiley face at the bottom, a nice big one. Um, and it's just gonna kinda come up to a point. Now I'm not gonna keep this completely yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. And then maybe even just a very small touch of brown at the base. All 
For my books, and this is really going to be up to you, you can put words on your books or you can just add some um, detail. But if you are going to put any detail lines on them, I would try to make them slightly curved, like the spine of the book would be. Now, as far as your teep cup goes, you can either give it decorations or not. That's totally your choice. Um, I am going to add a tea bag on mine. So I'm going to start with some white paint and I'm going to make my tea bag a little rectangle right here, kind of coming down at an angle. I'm going to add just a small amount of brown to it. I'm going to take even smaller brown. I'm just going to make some little lines on my edges. Just two of them. I don't need to go crazy with it. Then I'll take my black paint, some watered down black paint. Anytime I like make skinny lines, I like to use some watered down black paint. And I am going to make that tea bag go into my teacup. Now you can choose to write words on your tea bag or just leave it like this. I'm just going to write tea on it with some watered down black paint. And then I think what I'm going to do to kind of fill up some of this open space, I actually sent it out to my Facebook group I asked people to tell me what to add and a lot of them suggested just have some steam coming up off of my teacup so I have taken my number six round brush with a little bit of watered down white paint and I am just going to have some steam kind of coming up and off of my cup here Oh, I love how that turned out. All right, a couple little highlights and we can call this finished. So first of all, I'm gonna take some white paint on my number six round brush. I'm gonna make a small highlight on the handle of my cup that is facing my candle. A couple of little lines down this side as well. I'm gonna take a small highlight on this side of my brown book. And right here on the side of my green book. Same thing on my red book, just a small little highlight. And then I want you to remember, you don't get to say that you're finished with your picture until you find a color that shows up well on your canvas and you sign your name. I always put my name in the bottom right corner of my pictures. Remember that I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.